and welcome to another episode of my new series digging into the culture and life of a modern day employee. You know, there's one thing I get a lot and I've seen a lot is that no matter what industry you work in, no matter where you are in the industry, shit always goes downhill. And you know what? There could be a problem with a client, a billing issue, delivering issue, whatever it happens to be, everything always slides down. There's very few times that a CEO or a C-level executive is actually going to take responsibility for an error that they may have made. And so then you get the middle management guys. Well, they don't want to be found guilty because they're always worried about their job and everything else. So no matter what, who was actually responsible for this, shit is always going downhill. And you know what? You have two options. You can either take responsibility and prove that you are a great employee, that you have work ethic, that you can problem solve and find a solution for the organization, or you can continue to let that shit just go past you onto the next person. But if you're the bottom of the totem pole, you have nowhere else to go. So that ends with you. This creates so much stress in the workplace. Nobody likes it. People start bickering, all sorts of office dynamics and back talking and different things like that. It's not fun for anybody. So you know what? I strongly, strongly suggest you take option one, end that negativity, end that stress, put it on yourself, take the responsibility, find a solution that everybody can at the end of the day look at and go, wow, you really stepped up. You know, people are going to remember that. They're not going to remember what the situation was. They're going to remember that you owned it. You took on that responsibility. You showed that you cared. You took over the situation. You got things to be a lot better. But if you let that continue to slide, people will remember that too. You know, people are going to remember that you know you passed off this this issue and they'll see it as a failure or a weakness on your part. Don't let that be a weakness. Show that you have strength, show that you have the integrity to care about your job and about the jobs of everybody else. Right? Sometimes you are at fault. And again, don't let it just fall downhill. If you're a CEO, take that responsibility yourself. Don't let it fall down onto your employees. You know, own it. If you screwed up, if you screwed up with a client, it's not the janitor's problem, it's not the guy you just hired last week's problem. Right? Take that responsibility. Now, if you're that lower end employee and you screwed up, take that responsibility. All right? This was something I really struggled with when I first got into the workplace. I kept watching all these problems with the organization, you know, whether it be financial and the, the company couldn't balance their sheet, their, their balance sheets and bring everything in, all the way to talking to a client in a way that didn't sell the product we were, we were trying to make them. You know, whatever it happened to be, somehow it was never the CEO's fault. They always managed to pass it off, slip it under the table, and when things started, when shit started hitting the fan, it would always start coming downhill. And it would get all the way down to whether it was the interns or the guy who was hired last week. Like I said, this is the situations that they would find themselves in. You know, they could have passed it off and I used to, I used to get so mad. I used to talk back to my employer. I would fight them on it and go, you know, I'm not responsible for this. This was not my problem. And that just caused more friction. Uh, people lost respect for what I could do. 
and who I was, and it also made me feel, it didn't make me feel very good. You know, it's not the kind of person I am. So I always wanted to, so I learned how to take responsibility, whether it was my problem or not. If that stress and that incident were coming down past my desk, that buck ended with me. Once I went off on my own, started working with different clients all over the world, I only had myself to blame in all these different situations. You know, this is when you when you work for yourself, you're you're responsible. There's nobody else you can blame it on. You can't blame it on your wife, you can't blame it on your mother in law, you can't blame it on anybody, right? It ends with you. If the client is getting frustrated, that means you're doing something wrong. It's not their problem. It's what you you have to internalize that. You have to be self-aware and know that this is something you have screwed up on. Own it. Find a solution. You'll come out on the other end looking far better, gain a lot more respect. Maybe it'll turn into some sort of bonus, different things like that along the way. You never know. But own that and just be the guy or the girl be responsible and fix the problem. Don't let it slide downhill. Don't cause more stress in the workplace than needs to be. If you like what you're hearing on these short videos, please subscribe. Love to have you there. Also, I'm open to answering any questions. You know, send a direct message, write a comment below, anything you can do. I'll be more than happy to reach out and chat with you. Until next time, have a great one. I'll see you next Tuesday.